All right, we're back at SeaWorld San Diego. I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well. It's very windy out. I've got another uh, food and wine card. I was here last weekend, but I didn't record any of it. So I'll tell you about you know, what items I got and how they were. I uh, plan on getting some more things today and seeing if anything's new, seeing what's going on with that submarine quest prize, see if they'll ever open it again. Something worth noting, when I came here last week, they actually set up um, like security checkpoints here. We had to go through metal detectors and that was for everybody. So it was very backed up. It was last Saturday they, they did it. It's a little strange that they're not doing it now. I don't know if they were just doing it randomly or if that was a new thing, but they don't have it today. So it kind of helped alleviate some of the congestion of getting in here. You see, once again, same deal. I really want to try to get on the Sky Tower today. That way I can check to see the electric eel track layout and find out if, you know, it really is just as small as it looks and you go around the same track three times. So I'll be curious to see how that looks. Rides over here are always fun. And right across is the Ocean Explorer, which is down again for who knows what reason. I'm just not sure what it is about this ride. There's nothing on the website, no information on when it's opening, if it's opening. Just really strange overall. So here's something new. They have a cutout where you can put your face in it. And basically pretend like you're riding the ride. Just right out here in front of Electric Eel. Opening next month. Here's one that I'm not going to get anything from because I'm not a fan of Coke. But for food and wine, they have these items. Boba Snow Pop, Cherry Coke Experience, and a Snow Pop. So I'm not sure where I saw it, but I remember hearing May 12th was the opening day. Now it says May 10th for Electric Eel. That is very soon. There is no line over there at Medi or Mediterranean Flavors, so I'm finally going to get that lamb slider. All right, so this is the uh, grilled lamb slider, which is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. It's got shaved cucumber and a mint yogurt, so it sounds really strange. Uh, funny thing, though, I mean, I've been looking forward to it, but the line's so long, it took at least 15 minutes to get it. And, you know, looking at this as well, it's in the center. So it's pretty much like the food mascot for this thing. So definitely looking forward to it. Slider was very good. I was actually surprised by all the flavors in it. Stuff I probably never even tasted before. Um, worth the wait, I would say. Worthy of being the uh, the mascot, I would say. Take a look in here too. This is like their little uh, event center. Right in front of Mission Bay. I've never actually been in this area. But look how quiet it is. Nobody's out here. Meanwhile, the whole park is like just completely flooded with people. So if you ever want a nice break, you can just go right out there on the water too. So kind of like a little secret right here by the uh, event center thing. Okay, I'm going there. So over here at uh, French Cafe Flavors, last time we had the Nutella banana crepe and the uh, macaroons, both very good. Macaroons, standard macaroons, I mean, a macaroon's a macaroon. They taste the same anywhere except like Disney. But the uh, Nutella banana crepe was very good. I don't know if this is a new thing they're going to be doing, but it's past member deal of the week. You get a pen. A lanyard and a pass holder. It says value $25 separately, so that's pretty cool that they're doing that. I must say, I am a fan of these glasses. Pretty neat. So these are the items individually. And here's the pin. So it's not actually an exclusive pin, it's just a, a SeaWorld pin that you get with it say with absolute certainty because you can see they now have the uh, docking station for the electric eel that all you're gonna do is do this loop here and then come around the top and do that probably three times and that's gonna be it so a little unfortunate I'm sure it's gonna be fun but I was expecting more hearing about this thing again though uh, not gonna really review it without going on it 
So we'll see you next month. I realize I've made a critical mistake. I've been walking around and haven't filled up a cup of tea yet. I gotta fix that like now. Something else to mention about the lamb slider. That thing was uh, six dollars if you bought it normally. So if you're trying to buy, like, find a deal with getting the, the pass that combines it all, that's probably your best value because everything else is about five bucks, five fifty. But that's the most expensive one I've seen. So if you buy a five taster for twenty five bucks and you get five lamb sliders, you're saving five bucks. That's pretty neat. Here's another item I tried last time. The uh, Jamaican spare rib. Actually, didn't really care for it. Thought it was kind of tough. The chicken's much better. So if you're gonna go here, and you can see they're actually over there uh, cooking everything. I'd say the chicken's the way to go. Went to go get a fill up and a shamu cookie. I'll try to eat this without making a huge mess. This is the line for Sky Tower. It's like nobody in line, which is weird considering how busy the park is. World Sky Tower. For your safety, please remain seated at all times Stay and no smoking, please. There you go. Sea World San Diego opened on March 21st, 1964, founded on the principles of education, entertainment, and conservation. Whoa, look at how high up More than 50 are. years later, Sea World has become one of the most popular marine parks yeah, in the hilarious antics of Sea Lions Clyde, Seymour, yeah. and Opie Otter, and Sea Lion Otter. So and we can confirm that's all there is to Electric Eel. Don't worry, we'll see it. And yes, even we'll pigs it. in don't their worry. backyard at Pets Rule. Woo! Up into the Sea Lion show. I've never seen this one before. It's called, I think, Sea Lions Live. Something like that. Funny, this uh, park map here coming soon. They didn't update the uh, food and wine. This still shows it going from April 15th when it's actually to the 29th. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> So I'm actually getting another Kahlua pig because they're so good, but last time I came we got the uh, Spam, fried Spam sushi roll, and the pineapple beignet, which were all very, very good. Alright, so that was actually the third Kahlua pig slider I've gotten since this event started because I also got another one last time, and I think it might be my favorite. Between that and that lamb slider, it's, it's really tough to pick. Um, and the reason being, like, the lamb slider just tastes so original and unique. It's not something you typically eat, or at least I wouldn't. You know, it's not something you can find everywhere. But the Kahlua pig has just done so well. So between those two, it's, it's tough. But those are my two favorite things so far at this event. And I've had probably about half of the things they have here. And, you know, if you don't know, they've got a little over 50, I think like over 55, somewhere around there, uh, food items. But yeah, pig in the lamb slider, definitely worth checking out. Pretty neat to come out here for the uh, eating, feeding time for the piranhas. Look at those teeth. Yeah, a lot of cool decorations in here. Eating the side of the tank. Look at this one. Look at this one. 
Here is where this vessel met the unfortunate fate of meeting the Black Pearl and being taken out all the way to the bottom of the depths of Davy Jones, Savvy. And that over there too. Today's a perfect day to go on that too. Alright, that's gonna do it for SeaWorld San Diego. Funny enough, I only used two punch cards. I only got two items. The uh, Kalua Pig Slider and the Lamb Slider. Both excellent choices. So I decided I'll save my last two and next week when I come back. Maybe get them again. Because I pretty much had everything I wanted to try here. Uh, nothing else really new. Got to see the Sea Lion Show, which is definitely more for kids. I mean, it's not as good as the Dolphin Show or the Orca Show. Those ones are a lot better. Uh, but they do have a cool little area behind the sea lion show where you can just watch sea lions. That's more entertaining than the show, I must say. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We got the electric deal opening next month. I'm gonna be here for that. I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like and if it is, you know, really that fun, which I'm sure it will be. Just longer. Um, that's it. So as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.